second lesson James chapter 3 verse 6 and the tongue is a fire a world of iniquity so is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire of hell. Brethren, have you heard that? It is not the tongue, but the word that is being referred to. The tongue is simply a messenger. Whatever you send it to do, it will certainly do. Through it, infirmities are healed. Through it, the dead are raised. Through it, the lame walk. And through it, many wonderful works are done. When you misuse or mislead the tongue, you are inviting trouble and there is no forgiveness whatever. From today, let us retrace our steps. We must not allow evil communication to proceed out of our mouth. Instead of saying that which is evil, we should become dumb. The word kills and keeps alive. God, the word, is the ruler of heaven and earth. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the A and the Z, which means he is good and he is evil. Our Lord Jesus Christ spoke and the dead rose. He spoke and the lame walked. And he also spoke and the leper was cleansed. He saw a fig tree and went there thinking he would get some fruits to eat from it. And when he saw no fruits, he cursed the tree. The tree withered away and died. This shows to you what sort of man our Lord Jesus Christ was. John the Baptist bore eloquent testimony about him when he said, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Our Lord Jesus Christ spoke and a great multitude followed him. He spoke again, and they all dispersed, leaving only twelve. You will realize now that he is the beginning and the end, the Alpha et Omega. If you joke with him, it means you are joking with fire. He is the only one who knows that the word is God, because being the Son of God, he was God himself. You cannot find God elsewhere except in the world. The universal teaching. The word is man. The word is the earth. The word is the sun. The word is the moon. The word is fishes in the water and everything you can think of. This wonderful teaching is not the kind of teaching that should be given to a great crowd. It should have been for a selected few so that they conceal it to themselves and live by it. But now it is made universal to all the angels, to fishes in the water, to Tom, Dick and Harry, to reserve this wisdom for a few in a secret chamber lecture can be likened to somebody saying, let evil things go afar. If evil things should go to London, are those in London not your brothers? Where will evil things go afar to? Is it India? Do your brethren not dwell in India? The only thing you should say is that evil things should not 
exist at all. That is why this teaching is universal and also delivered in the Christ Universal Spiritual School of Practical Christianity. It is universal to every person so that every person might be emancipated. The Comforter has come. The whole world continue to say that brother would exist without God, even though there is power there. They forget to understand that all that we do emanate from the words. Juju are only made powerful because of the spoken words. If good words were spoken, the Holy Spirit would have been at work. Or if you go to your father's grave, pour some wine and say that certain persons should perish. Or you order the devil to rise up and kill the person. You have allowed evil communication to proceed out of your mouth. Have you not blasphemed against the Holy Spirit? All these who go to invoke evil spirits in the cemetery, they do not have sense at all. They do not know themselves. You are an encasement of word. The word is dwelling in you. The Holy Spirit is dwelling in you. Our Lord Jesus Christ is dwelling in you. All the things you can think of in the world are inside you. What prevents you from saying the word? Say but the word and everything will happen. There is no need setting up a place and calling it a sanctuary. Without you, without the word, can such a place exist? Our Lord Jesus Christ said, When the Comforter, even the Spirit of Truth comes, He will lead you unto the accurate wisdom of truth. Have you not seen the Comforter leading you unto the accurate wisdom of truth? The kingdom of the world is now the kingdom of God. It is said, for he shall not speak of himself, but what he had heard, that shall he speak. All that exists here is good word. Word of truth, word of life, word of good health, word of peace, word of wealth, word of everlasting life, and of everything good about everybody. It is said, the kingdom of this world have become the kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ. Have you not seen that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ? He will reign forever and ever. I always stand here for two to three hours. Have you heard me speak vain, vile or evil words? These words do the work and now everybody is well liberated. The dry meat of dog is very tasteful, but what will one eat to dry the meat? I know that you are all desirous to speak good words, but as far as you continue to steal, tell lies, begrudge somebody, hate, and prepare concoction, where will such words come from? when what you speak is the manifestation of your actions and the evil intentions of your heart. The word makes the man. That is why it is said, when the tree is good, its fruits will also be good. You cannot know anybody through the money he gives to you. You cannot determine a man through his bowing down his head for you. You can determine a man through the words he speaks. As we are all here, an American Negro may come in. 
a West Indian may come in. Somebody from Ivory Coast or any other African country may come in unless they begin to speak their different languages you cannot know from where they come you can find some people sitting around here one a house a man another an ethic another a cameroonian another a yoruba and yet another an hebo man you will not know from where they come unless they begin to speak. Only when they have spoken can one say to somebody, So you are a house man. I thought you were an ethic man. That is why before one is employed, he must be interviewed. It is during the interview that one one's qualities are known before you speak two or three words your character and behavior is determined when you have a case with the police and you are requested to make a statement you tell them that you do reserve your statement they will gird their line knowing that you are not an easy to handle person they will also hold that you have disorganized them it is from your statement that they can know the loopholes and able to hook you that is why when you are speaking to somebody who keeps quiet and will not reply another person will come and draw your attention telling you to take care and get away from that man another person will ask you what he said when you spoke to him when you mention that he said nothing he will warn you to be very careful with that type of man speak no evil let us joke with food and every other thing but let us not joke with the almighty god because he is the word whatever comes from the word is capable of destroying and making perfect the whole world the problem besetting the whole world emanates from fighting with god you are not enjoined not to speak but rather you are warned to be mindful of the type of word that comes out from your mouth. Speak no evil words. All the good things you wish should come into being. Just speak the word and they will manifest accordingly. All the good things you expect in the world Speak good and they will manifest throughout the world, even though they had never been in existence. The twelve zodiacs symbolize the twelve patriarchs. Jacob ignorantly made a mistake because he did not realize the efficacy of the word. When he was old, he called his 12 sons, the 12 patriarchs. He told them that he had something to tell them. What will happen to them one by one? When you hear of the 12 zodiacs, the 12 calendar months, they symbolize the 12 patriarchs, the 12 sons of Jacob. As astrologers, astronomers, and all other scientists who study the stars base their probabilities on this. They use all that Jacob had said to his children to design fate for people. The origin of poverty. That is why when Job's wife told him to deny God, he replied that he would rather curse the month he was conceived and the day he was born 
instead of speaking evil against his God. Reuben was the first son of Jacob. It will interest you to hear what Jacob said about him. This will make you realize how many poor people come into the world because Reuben was intimate with his father's wife. Jacob with that anger said unto him, Thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, then defilest thou it. That is the root of poverty in the world. The descendants of Reuben caused all the troubles in the world. They follow women all about. Any person who is from that tribe can be intimate with his sisters, his mother, his stepmother, and even his brother's wife. They do not discriminate at all. They go all out for it, no matter what you do. And yet, they do not have any money at home. The origin of army institution. In the same manner, Levi and Simeon were from the same womb. They had committed murder. When Jacob was returning to his hometown, they tarried in a certain city. The prince of that city impregnated the sister of Simon and Levi. When Jacob discovered this, the king of that city went to Jacob and told him that he would accept any condition of reconciliation that Jacob would give so that there might be peace. Jacob requested that all the inhabitants of that city should be circumcised and he accepted. Little did Jacob, little did Jacob at that moment know that Simeon and Levi were conspiring to do something. When the peace three terms, when the peace terms were agreed upon, the two brothers went behind and killed every citizen of that city. That was why when the time come for Jacob to bless them, he said, O oh my soul, come not thou into their secret, unto their assembly, mine honor, be not thou united. He added that the sword will never depart from their house. This explains the existence of the army, always eager to kill. They are always with the sword, always with the machete. You can eat and drink with somebody, but the next moment he will be sharpening his sword to eliminate you. To know God is to know the world. When you read through Genesis chapter 49 verses 1 to 33, you will notice the blessings and woes Jacob bestowed on the twelve tribes of Israel. If you are a descendant of any of these tribes, Whatever was pronounced on that child is what will become of you. It is only Joseph whom he loved that he poured out his blessings abundantly. All the blessings became manifested in Joseph. I want to show you today that it is the word that is used in destroying the world and it is the word which will be used in recreating it. You who profess to know God, do you know the word? If you claim to know God and know not the word, does somebody who does not know God know the word? You profess that you know our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know the word? The word is God. The word is our Lord Jesus Christ. The word is the Holy Spirit. 
if you should know what the word is when you are told to go and sin no more or to go that your problems are over or to go that you are a child of God or that you should not speak evil words but should speak good you would believe in these words when you are told not to steal or get exasperated you would comply you would not joke with the word God reconstructs the world this is the era of recreation the world had already been on ruins the word was used in creating the world but former things are passed away this is the period of time when everybody has to be recreated the word of god is going to be used in perfecting the whole of this world that is why brotherhood has peculiar ways of praying of singing of giving testimonies of preaching and of doing everything all things in brotherhood are done by perfect words meant to recreate where you had in the past pronounced a curse saying woe unto this or that woe unto father or mother you have been clothed with the blessedness of God you have been cleansed healed of your ailments you are prosperous you are a child of God you have eternal life and every good thing has been given to you do you now realize how churches have individually spoken vile defiled words and blaspheme against God are you with your heads I laugh at it all it is also a very piteous situation that is why I pray to the father to forgive them all for they are all God's children it has come to pass that whosoever speaks a word against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven the churches have spoken evil against God you are a house of God you have spoken evil and you have cursed another person everybody is a house of God and has erred this is our problem in the world from today let us turn a new leaf and be born anew let us speak good words so that good words can bounce back on us vain words we should avoid i do not want people to see ghosts demons witches charms in their vision do not pray to god to eliminate enemies because there are no enemies do not preach confusion your problem is that you preach confusion till today 99% of you preach carnal and vain things when a person has a court case or is sick do not tell him to follow you to Calabar only tell him that as from that moment he has been discharged and acquitted or that his sickness is over and that will be the end do not say again that you are the only one in your family who attends brotherhood when you say so you have blasphemed against the holy spirit the whole world is brotherhood because they are the children of god the father has gathered them unto himself and has changed them he has forgiven every person this is the time for the glorification of god we all have to say all what is good let our golden text be read listen attentively to what is going to be read 
golden text. St. Matthew chapter 12, verse 32. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. There is time for everything. Brethren, have you heard that? A lot of people have problems because they do not know that the one who is in them is the greatest. The person in them is God. He is the greatest. He is the word. Do not speak evil words again. Do not allow evil communications, dirty utterances, words of lamentation, vile and disdainful words, words of annoyance to come out of your mouth. Because whenever you say this, they will backfire and will affect your life. When somebody begs a favor from you, if you are able to provide, do so quietly. If unable to do so, do not add any evil words besides. Tell him to go that you will provide for him another day. The book of Ecclesiastes says, there is time for everything, a time to rend clothes and a time to sow, a time to kill and a time to keep alive. This is the time for recreating man into the glory of God. God, is, God has entered into a new covenant with man. It is on this premise that the father has said this is the covenant that I will enter into with the house of Israel after those days I will not resemble the covenant that I made with their father in which I left them with utter abandonment in the wilderness but in this new covenant he says I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother to know God for all shall know me from the least to the greatest for I will be merciful unto their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. The emphasis is on forgiving, being merciful, and not remembering our unrighteousness and sins. All the sins committed by man from Adam are, through our Lord Jesus Christ, not remembered anymore and that to our unrighteousness he has shown mercy. These words are fulfilled in your midst. He does not remember your sins and iniquities again. He has absolutely forgotten about our sins. This is a new covenant into which God has entered with all of you as in the first world where there was no trouble and quarreling and division and fighting people obeyed the voice of God and lend their ears to him. Now must we stage a go back to that first world and there must be no sins. People must obey the voice of God. That paradise which man by transgression lost is now regained. If he did not forgive the unrighteousness of the inhabitants of the world, what would have prompted him people? What would have prompted people to know God? 
what would have prompted your recreation and regeneration? And how would you have entered this kingdom? The Word becomes flesh and lives with man. Watch your tongue from now on. You will discover that if you curse somebody by spelling woe on him, anytime he visualizes you, either in the dream or in a trance, he will claim that he has seen you as a wizard and an apparition. This is erroneous. It is the vibration of the woe you pronounce which becomes flesh. Have you not heard the confession of so many people that there is a formidable power in brotherhood, but that power which is not without some element of diabology does not come from God but I do not seem to see the power in brotherhood but what happens is that the father is doing his work the TV program should be universal God is power he is the word he is the Christ he is the spirit he is everything to every man. This is the only thing I see in this kingdom and no other thing. Can you realize that the Brotherhood TV program entitled Brotherhood Pulpit should not be left for a handful of people? It should belong to all the inhabitants of the world, the government, the schools, the hospitals, the other institutions, gospels, such as the one we have today should be disseminated to all parts of the world and to all the inhabitants in the four corners of the world. Because if all human beings and all angels assimilate this gospel, about 99% of the population would have repented and changed. Out of the same mouth comes good and evil. This is the time for all the inhabitants of the world to worship their creator. Whether you are a man or a woman, a child, an adult or an old man, white or black, and refrain from sin, because the time of foolishness had long passed when we despise a God, but now we have seen him face to face and know that he is seasoned word and know that he is the seasoned word experience they say is the best teacher. After God had created man, he advised Adam that he should eat of all the fruits of the trees in the garden except one. And any day he would eat of it, he would die. When you pray, you always ask God to take away death. How can he take it away when he has established death as an institution? It is said that this is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. It is also said two persons go to console, in, to console a dead man's house. One speaks good words, the other speaks evil. Man has the tendency to blow both hot and cold out of the same mouth proceeds blessing and cursing. Consider yourself the serpent cursed. Reason also, when they had eaten the forbidden fruit, if he had made no statement, there would have been no problem. But when he started cursing the serpent, the woman and the man, trouble set in. And the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have deceived the woman, 
you are cursed above all beasts, above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon your belly will you walk, and dust will be your food all the days of your life, and I will put enmity between you and a pregnant woman. Have these curses not affected the serpent as you see it today? The woman and the man cursed also. He then turned to the woman and said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In sorrow will you bring four children and you will perpetually remain under the control of the man. What is the position of women today? He then turned to the man and said, Because you have hearkened unto the voice of a woman and has eaten the forbidden fruit, curse is the ground for your sake. In great sorrow will you eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring to you and you will eat the herb of the field. You will only eat from the sweat of your face until you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, for dust you are, and unto dust will you return. Have you not realized the unbearable suffering of man? The old order of death abrogated. The foregoing explains why the whole world has suffered death, no matter what they do. But now he has abrogated that old institution, as he say, there will be no more death, neither sorrow nor lamentation. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Behold, everything is now made new. When you tell people that there is no more death, they laugh you to scorn that Moses had died. They say this because they do not know this new dispensation. Because they did not know this dispensation. He says, I will be merciful unto their unrighteousness and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. He has forgiven our trespasses. He has not remembered any again because we are now in the new world. The only proviso is that you should refrain from all acts of sin, refrain from evil utterances. In your prayers, songs, sermons, testimonies, your words should be seasoned with salt, and that which good, and that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace to the hearers. Turn from woe to beatitude. As you carried the image of the earthly man, when you curse people that is that it is woe betides them, that they will die, that they will be wretched, that they will be devoured by the leopard, such vain words of disorganized, devoured, consumed and destroy the world. But now you have to carry the language of the heavenly man. You have to recast your words. Say, blessed are you. You are prosperous. You have eternal life. You have good health. God has taken dominion over you. Let no, communi let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth from now on, and you will be surprised 
at what will transpire in the world. You must only speak words which are capable of edifying and ministering grace to the hearers. When Pilate intended to release our Lord Jesus Christ, he asked the Jews, Which of these two persons will I release unto you? Is it Barabbas or Jesus called the Christ? They all asked that Barabbas be released unto them, but shouted that our Lord Jesus Christ should be crucified, and that, and that his blood should be on their heads, and upon their children, and upon their children's children. Is that blood not upon the Israelites today? Now pass from death to life. Many a time you pronounce curses on your children. What you do to me, your children will do the same to you. Your father and mother were saying the same thing. And now your condition is the manifestation of your parents' pronouncements. Do not do it again. When... Women are always fond of saying to their husband, As you do with me, you will do same to all your wives. Do not make such utterances again. The men folk are also very fond of this. Little did you know that hitherto you are destroying yourself. That is why the Father has set aside this Calabar Area Choristers Association Week to release this gospel to the entire world. It is a new gospel, and as it has already been said, something spectacular will happen during this Choristers Week, and it has happened. I know you will wear this gospel as your necklace. You will wear it as an armor of God, as your boot, as your hat, and you will realize that the wax has been removed from your ears, scales have been dropped from your eyes, the heavy, the heavy stone has been taken out of your heart. It is only then that you will discover that through your words you have been injurious to yourself. It is the mouth of a monkey that kills the monkey. If you cannot diagnose the nature of your sickness, how will you know the cure for it? Right now, you can diagnose the nature of your sickness and you also know the treatment whosoever makes evil utterances means he has blasphemed against God and there is no forgiveness from now on do not abuse do not curse any person but only speak what is good do not blaspheme against God brethren I do not wish to be tedious unto you. It is said that one stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Those who have ears, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.